Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with- No, what am I back with? I'm here with Pac-Man, the museum collection, because I wanted to play a game, and I like Pac-Man, so I wanted to play this, because it's on Game Pass, and I've been playing it here and off, here and there, so I'm going to play it. Uh, if you are too young to know what Pac-Man is, before he was a Smash Brothers character, he had a whole bunch of arcade games, extremely... Uh, pivotal, pivotal to everything, and this game tries to capture as much of the history of Pac-Man without adding any of the 3D platformers, because that would probably take too much to remaster. So we got Pac-Man, we got Super Pac-Man, we got Pac-Land, we got Pac-Pal, Pac-Man Arrangement, we got Pac-Man Battle Royale, we got Pac-Mania, we got Pac-Tac, Pac-In-Time, Pac-Man Arrangement, the PSP version, Pac-Man Championship, Championship Edition, Pac- uh, Pack and Roll, Pack and Roll Remix, Pac Man 256, and that's Pac and Pac again. And then over here we have that's a Pac Man again. And if you're wondering where's Miss Pac Man, because Miss Pac Man's not on here, there's beef between Pac Man and Miss Pac Man. They have to pay someone to use Miss Pac Man, so it's caused the erasure of Miss Pac Man. So if you ever wonder why <laughs> Miss Pac Man isn't there anymore. And instead we have, let me see if I have the, the trophy for her, because I think they call her something else. Maybe I'll see it in here. You can see in this gotcha pawn, I think. Uh, yeah, let me turn the coin real quick to see if I'll get her right here. No, I got a key. Never mind. They call her pac Mama now. She looks completely different from Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man being, of course, the most famous version of Pac-Man, and of course the version they don't have so funny enough so let's go in here let's play some pac-man i'm terrible at pac-man but you have to start with pac-man uh there we go let's go you have to actually physically put in core coins in this game but don't worry that's not it's not free to play funny enough it's 1999 and all you have to do is uh to get more coins is to play the console version of pac-man which will give you free stuff all right let's see this is not, I am not the best at original Pac-Man. I was much better at Miss Pac-Man, but then we don't have Miss Pac-Man. I'm not going to be able to get that cherry, which is unfortunate to get him. There we go. Um, I'm about to get it completely. They're going to trick me. Here's the problem is that I've never, I know there's a pattern to Pac-Man, which is why Miss Pac-Man is better. If you ever wondered why is Miss Pac-Man the better version of Pac-Man, it's because Pac-Man is on a set interval. And so, therefore, the AI is extremely exploitable, and therefore, you will always know how certain characters will go. Um, which makes the game very easy to, I guess, just break. So, Miss Pac-Man kind of breaks that, and therefore, a lot of people see Miss Pac-Man as a superior version for that reason. But Miss Pac-Man was made by dudes who were going to make a version, a bootleg version of Pac-Man called Crazy Auto. Um... And they went up to Midway and said, we're going to make a bootleg. What are you going to do about it? And they said, how about you make this official and we'll call it Miss Pac-Man. And that's how we got Miss Pac-Man. There we go. From modding, basically. <laughs> it was a modded version of Pac-Man to be made better. Waited there a little bit. Let's go here. Let me try and... I don't really have a set mind when it comes to original Pac-Man. Other than... Oh, God. They're going to catch me. They're going to catch me. God. That was me. That was 100% me. They didn't catch me. I got me. All right, let's go up. Uh, funny enough, I'm actually not old enough to have played Pac-Man when it came out. I'm a child of the 90s, but I did play it a whole bunch in my dentist's office, um, which eventually did replace it with a Miss Pac-Man machine. <laughs> funny enough. Oh, God. Let's run away from these guys. So, yeah. I forget the exact AI patterns, but I think it's one will always follow you and one always goes the opposite direction and one is on purpose going in a random direction, I think. I don't remember which is which. Um, later cabinets of Pac-Man do tell you. Oh, hell yeah, the first cutscene in video games. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It's environmental storytelling to tell you let you know here. Yeah, Pac-Man. So, yeah, I absolutely love Pac-Man. My favorite Pac-Man, of course, being uh, Championship uh, DX, which, funny enough, is not actually a version of Pac-Man you can play on this. You can play the original version of Pac-Man Championship edi edi uh, Edition, but you can't play the superior version 
which is DX, in my opinion at least. That's also why I'm doing these hard curvatures every time I go to a corner. Uh, okay, I got it here. I think this is actually the best game of Pac-Man I've had. Uh, there we go. Get out of my face. I'm not going to be able to. If I can get maybe to the next board. Alright, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see. Go here. See, so yeah, the one thing that I liked about Miss Pac-Man, because it's not here, so we may as well talk about it, because it's not here, is that they usually change the, um, the color of the board, <laughs> which gives you the illusion that you've gone to a new location, at least. Get out of my face, ghost. Face ghost. Oh, God. It's chasing me. I think the red one might be the one that actually always chases you. So you have to be smart and avoid that one. Where you can. Oh, come on, get him. Come on, get him. Get all three. Yeah! Got him. Not gonna be able to get him, though. Oh, the red one's gonna get me. I can feel it. Ooh. Nope. Oh, God. Run, Pac-Man! There we go. Oh, God. Thank God there's no time limit on this. <laughs> no! Okay, go. I'm good. Actually, you can see my high score up there. So, if I can beat that, that'd be fantastic. Walk, 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 walk. Okay, let's go. Man. Games were so simple back then. This is all you need, though. This is all I need, to be honest. It's good fundamentals. And that'll get me enough for most games. Uh, it's the same reason I can play Metal Slug. Is that there's like 27 Metal Slugs and all of them play exactly the same. But, um... They're just fun to play. So, it's easy to just pick up and get going. If that's so what you speak. Damn! I'm at the point where... This is usually around the level I would mess, I would lose all the time. Because at this point, they're now easily able to outsmart me. Okay. Get out of my face. And the, the... It just doesn't last very long. Yeah, they're gonna get me there. <laughs> oh, I'm so close to beating my score. Could not do it, though. It's alright. Character nickname. Shadow, Blinky. Speedy, Pinky. Bashful, Inky. Pokey, Clyde. Yeah, I think Pink, uh, the Shadow is the one that will always follow you. Speedy is the quickest of them all. The blue one will try and avoid you, and Pokey just goes in a random direction. So we go to return to Arcade, and then if there's any missions that you unlock, see, that's how you get more coins. That's also how you get to the gotcha. So I was able to clear 10 rounds. There's that. Got some nice wallpaper, I guess. Alright, let's see. Next. Super Pac-Man, Pac-Land, some of these you have to play a lot of, let's see, Pac-Land is it? I have to play Pac-Man twice to unlock it. There's just so many to pick from. Let's see. From what I remember on Super Pac-Man, I'm pretty good. I think this is the first time I played Super Pac-Man. You know, I, I did pretty well. Let me see if this is the one. Yeah, this one's completely different from what I was expecting. So, here we go. Start here. Select more two-player games. So, yeah, here's... You, this one, you're more about collecting the keys. And get, eating up the apples and stuff. But here's the thing that's cool. If you go here, you go... Yeah, obviously, you can eat the ghost here. But if you go here and you hit the green, you turn into a super big Pac-Man. In which case, you can then ignore all the keys 100% and just get whatever you want. Because you're huge Pac-Man, no one cares. No, you think they're going to be able to stop huge Pac-Man? No. He's a menace to society. He's huge, he's large, and he's in charge. Okay, I'm going to finish it off here. This is also where Pac-Man has a huge-ass nose for some reason. Which I've never really thought about it too hard about the, <laughs> I guess, the size of Pac-Man. I should not have eaten those right away, but it's fine. 
I doubt that they'll all give me any trouble, really. As long as I have... See, I found this one way easier than regular Pac-Man. <laughs> you know, regular Pac-Man, you can't break the board so easily like that. But funny enough, I think they want you to get more um, powers and stuff. Like, yeah, you can see right there on the side there, more hints. They want you to attack the monsters, become big, become invincible. But it seems like once you're huge, you can just disregard everything. Yeah, go here, go here. Also feels like there's a set pattern to go to, too. Boom. Some nice sweet bonus. I actually wasn't able to complete that the first time I did it. <laughs> what do you know? Because I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Oh yeah, burger. We eat burger now. Okay. The only problem with this version of Pac-Man, even though I think it's pretty fun, is that it is very repetitive because it's the exact same board every single time. <laughs> yeah, big now. Huge Pac-Man. Huge Pac. He's Pac. He's Pac. He's the Pac-Man. Right here. What? Oh, what happened there? I don't know. Eat all the, the tasty burgers. Munch stars for mystery bonus pool score. Okay, I haven't seen any of those yet. So I just go here, go here. Now, as you do get better, you will, in theory, run out of power. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's try. So far, I have not really run into the problem of turning small. Oh, there I go. Now I'm small, now we have a slight problem. Until I go here. There we go. Now we're fine. Boom, easy. So it seems like you're able to keep big as long as you keep getting the pellets, which is what you want to do. Corn! Pac-Man just eating a whole bunch of corn he found on the floor. It's the life I would like to live. I wish I could live as honest as Pac-Man does. Oh god, he was able to eat that guy in time. Ooh, potentially bad. Damn it, got me there. Start back in the middle, but it's fine. Go here, open up the key. Super back now. Now that I kind of understand how to stay big, it seems like you want to just kind of go down the set path over and over again. Some more nice cutscenes. Tiny Pac-Man being chased, now it doesn't matter because he's huge Pac-Man. He has the corn inside him, nothing can stop him. Bonus shoe! Pac-Man has stopped eating regular food and is now just chomping on some shoes. He's alright with it. I don't want to judge Pac-Man. He's lost Ms. Pac-Man. has no idea what he's doing with his life, which is understandable. I'll support you, Pac-Man. Which is the last one I'm missing? There it is. I was like, what the hell am I missing? I didn't see anything that was really missing. Yeah. Cake. Alright, at least he's eating food now. It's good on you, Pac-Man. I appreciate that you are eating regular people food once again. Oh, no! Was not thick, fast in the draw on that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've already beaten my score. Oh, God. I want to reach the big one. I'm afraid, because I'm a coward. Oh, God! Leave me alone! Oh, God. Yes! Oh, thank God. Nice try. Oh, no. I've run out of time. It's unfortunate. That's fine. Wait, you said it's fine? Oh, God, I got it just in time. Damn, these dudes do not want to get off my... Oh, uh, there we go. Alright. we I can get these cakes. Come on. There we go. You Pac-Man, are you a Pac-Coward? I need Red to stop fucking pointing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn it. That's fine. Be by a score at least. 
Yeah, put my new name. Let's put. Uh, I mean, I wish I would just keep my old one. It says right there. W. O. K. He is in such a weird fucking location. I feel like K should be way deeper in, but it's never. Ah, huh, funny enough, I got more points, but I made it to less stages. <laughs> Return to arcade. Thank you. Is that unlock something here? Let's see. It's the one I haven't tried yet. Yeah, let's go with this one because I haven't done it. This will be the last one. What is this? Okay. What the hell? Okay. Uh, I can see why it's called pack and roll. You are definitely rolling. This feels really weird over the controller. What, what do I do? Attack? Why the hell am I attacking anything? <laughs> okay, there is an attack button. Oh, shit. Okay. Got back oh, God. It feels like this would use a trackball, but I don't have a trackball. This is, was not meant to be played with trackball, in which case. Why would they make it this way? Oh. Go up. Okay, 76. That should be enough. For whatever reason. Yeah, let me through the damn gate. I don't know. Okay. Oh, give me that. Give me that. I think my current pack levels are high. Which is what the little meter at the bottom is saying. But I actually have no idea. Get it back, man. There we go. Whee! Come on. Hell yeah. He's pumped. He doesn't even care that he's lost his legs and his arms. He's just here to pack and roll, baby. Is there really only five stages of this? Alright. Let's roll. Literally. Oh, and this one actually introduces ghosts into here. Oh god, the ghosts have seen better days, though. I don't know how they could catch me. I'm so fast! I say as they literally hit me. Oh, what? Oh, that's my pack health. I don't understand. Alright, I'm not gonna get hit anymore. Jumps. Is there anything up here? There's not. Seems cool. Hit that big ass ramp, Pac Man. What is this? Ooh, checkpoint. And I can eat one. Fall off the edge, Pac-Man. You seem to want to with your giant rolls, but fight the temptation. Ooh, I can see up there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit. We're fine. Ooh, there was one there. You die. You. See you die. See you die. Die by the hands of the pack roll. Oh! Okay, come on, good. Yeah! Alright, let me get that apple. Giant 
giant statue of Pac-Man, I think you. Boom. Easy. Yeah! Pack. It's all about the pack. I mean, I may as well keep going. <laughs> it's in the... I should have ended the video probably a little while ago, but it's fine. game controls extremely squirrely, but there is something to it, which is why I'm still playing. Checkpoint. Oh, God! Lost my pack life. The jumps might actually be more terrifying than any villain in the potential fight here. Very easy to kind of fall off wherever. I would like to play a Pac Man Tony Hawk game now that I'm playing this game, but this game would be way sicker with about 50% more ska. Oh! There's more here. Don't fall to your death. What is that? Easy. Alright. Pack on a roll. Perfect clear. Was all the other ones not perfect? I guess that was the first perfect clear I ever got. We're in the kingdom of Pack. Castle Pack! What is it? A night pack? I have no idea what this means, but I am a knight errant. I am ma Oh, I'm immune to knife throws. Which is not how armor works. Well, I guess it does protect you from- Ooh, and I can go through these super easily. Oh, that's the final form of Pac-Man, the most strongest pack. Figure out a way to get on that table. Which I'll assume is all the way here at the end. I was right. Mm, I flew too close to the sun on that one. Right into the pack sun. Oh god. Okay, this one where I have to hit it at an angle is kind of a little bit wonky. about the angles that is also doing a little bit of something to my eye. So... Oh, I see. Don't, don't. Wow! I wonder what's the story behind this. There's no way Pac-Man just decided that he was gonna go headless and run around.
We'll have to try that. Yeah, I'm missing something. Damn it, I forgot to get that one. Yay! It's fine. Cleared regardless. I mean, it may as well here at the end of stage five. I may as well just quickly beat this game. Unless there's another level after this. Which I feel like there has to be. Who makes a game with only five levels? <laughs> Whoa! It's flying back. Potentially very bad. What I saved it. Oh, what? What happened there? I don't believe any of that was true. Nothing, everything you saw there was not actually what happened. I don't know why he decided to just stop flying right there. Having a perfectly fine time. I'm gonna assume after this is the end of the castle and then there's another level. Maybe this was something that was put in an arcade or something. Yeah, okay, okay. There's more worlds. I'll hit the return to arcade button to see if I unlocked anything. I was like, okay, that didn't make any sense if there was only legitimately five levels. Pac-Modo, thank you. 
that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching uh, Pac-Man. I like Pac-Man. You should play Pac-Man. I don't know if this is worth 20 bucks, but that's something for you to get on. Um, I guess it's worth 20 bucks if you super love Pac-Man and you also want to spend on this gacha pun, I guess. Without actually spending money. If you want to get that gacha hit while also playing Pac-Man. I mean, this is pretty nice. So. Oh, golden inky, let's go. That's the end of the video, everyone. <laughs> Have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, God, I dropped my controller. Oh, no. Everything's going bad. Bye.